The Blackfoot group was lit this past week. Really? It yeah, really it was. sounds like it. Somebody posted these ornaments from Walmart in Blackfoot. Take a good look. You're going to see like Cool Ranch and Nacho Cheese Doritos ornaments. I mean, who doesn't like those, though? Ego, Hostess Donuts, Spam, Popsicle Bomb Pops. I will say I was a little surprised to not see a Mr. Hanky ornament. <laughs> I mean, that would be you know? South Park licensed merch. Well, yeah, but just saying. But but just a lot of common everyday, but you could say pop culture items. French's mm-hmm. Yellow Mustard. I think there was some Mountain Dew up in there. Mountain Dew cans. I mean, I can think Coors of Coors people- Light. Here's the thing. There are definitely people who, when I think of Mountain Dew, I think of them. Okay. You know, it's sort of a nice representative ornament. There are two people in my life. Right. That I know I would would get that and they would be thrilled to receive it. Right. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Skittles, Snickers, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. First of all, Andy Warhol said, art is a man's name. (laughs) Remember, he's the famous guy. uh, Yeah. He did the Campbell's soup can. Exactly. He turned everyday Mm -hmm. ordinary items into pop art. Yeah. And... This totally seems like a 2024 pop art Christmas tree that you could put together. Right, right. The only thing is, they, I'm sure Walmart, I mean, maybe they just went to all their top brands. Are these the top brands we're saying? We always say play the hits. Mm -hmm. Certainly Walmart, before selling ornaments, went, what do we sell the most of? Vlasic pickles? Okay, let's make it an ornament. And really, here's the thing. All you need is a little bit of uh, resin. Because then you can just go do your normal grocery shopping. Right. Why not just get the real thing and coat it with resin? Yeah, coat it it with plastic. (laughs) UV light that stuff and then hang it on your tree, babes. I love it. Who's going to stop you? The question is not who will let you, but who will stop you. Thank you, Ayn Rand. 